Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purge Views. Okay, this is Zombie Crisis. It's intended to be a two-player only game. I'm just going to play it solo because, one, it's fun, and I think it plays fine. It takes a little bit of the elements out of the game, but I want to just kind of show you how it works, and I was going to play it tonight and have a little fun, and I wanted to show it off to you. So these will be the ones I have access to. These will be my storage. Here are my barricades starting at three. I put some zombie crisis in here, so my story modes are on normal, so he's playing that difficulty. And I'll take two from my hand. So start the uh, round off, I'll have three. Scout discards any two cards. Find the traitor and place him in Stonehill, or lose one barricade and refresh an alley. Ugh, maybe I'll just play this one out, and I can discard any two cards. So I'll just discard these two cards, and I won't have any cards in my hand. Uh, but that'll take care of scenario one. Remember, if I survive seven, I win the game. If they get through the barricades, I lose. So one of the things I have to do to play solo is normally you play the cards face down and give out information. But because I'm playing solo, I'm just going to play everything face up. Uh, yeah, it's not how it's intended to be played. Should make things a little bit easier on me, uh, but I'm just here to have a good time. So I'm just going to pull three from here. I will look at them and play them down to locations. It doesn't really matter. During the gate check, add one to the horde power. Put weapons card this color is discarded. Increase morale with one. Then I will go to the battles. So what I'll probably do is shoot this guy here. Maybe I'll put this guy here and a bat there. Yeah, that looks good to me. That way I can at least uh, damage everything. So this, so this is a red. This will be discarded, and we will destroy this zombie. Then this won't be able to do that. We'll just go here, and we'll. Uh, it won't be a, one. Won't be able to beat it. Two won't be able to beat it. But we'll be able to uh, at least wound them. So there's nobody to attack us because these guys are injured. So the morale, we don't have to do an attack die. Any civilians here would be rescued. Of course, there are none. All the used weapons are discarded. These guys will recover. Weapons card is colors discarded. Increase morale by one. Uh, we did not get rid of a blue one. Put three weapons into the storage. Scout will draw a single card. So we have to play the only one in our hand. Pick a civilian from the discards and place as an ally in Stone Hill. We don't have any of the discards. Then we'll take three of these and I will put these out here. I'll put one here and one there. We can go back as far as four deep. And then we can play these out. So I'm gonna play this one here. Maybe I'll play this one here. And I'll play that one there just to attack him. Let's see if we can do this. So I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to place this here. I'm going to try to kill this guy. So the yellow one will automatically kill him because he's the same color. And the four will destroy this guy because he is the same color. That will be helpful. So we discarded two. The morale dice has three, so we do not add to it. We'll do a gate check. So he has a five. Then we add one for each person over there, so six, seven, because they're over two. And then we'll roll the attack die, which is six. Added to morale is nine, and that is higher, so they will not attack. Okay, so there's no civilians. We will get rid of the weapons that were utilized. Everybody will move forward if possible. We will refill the weapons. Storage. We will draw a scenario card, which we then have to play. Gain the target as an ally. Exhausted. Don't have any targets that we can gain as an ally, so that doesn't do anything. Then we'll put uh, three more zombie cards out. Ooh, the engineer popped up. Look at that. So we'll put her in the front, and we'll add these bad boys in the back there. Now, she allows me to treat any one weapon card as a color of my choice. So that's a three. I will choose this one to be a blue. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that decision. And I'll hold on to that for now. No. Tell you what I'll do. So I'm going to play this. That's a pretty good card. Yeah, I'll hold that back. 
okay, so I like that. So this is blue, so it will automatically kill this. And a three will automatically kill that. So I got rid of two zombies. Morale is three, so it's going to stay the same. The gate check, that's it. There's nobody here. In the back, there's two that have a two or more. So that's going to be a two. Our morale is already at three, so we're going to defeat that with no problem. We'll just discard all the weapons that we used. These guys will move forward. We will refill this. There's already one there. So we'll just do that. We're going to draw a zombie crisis. Okay, we're moving to season two. If there is a wounded zombie before or behind this, discard one of them. If a weapons card on this color is discarded, increase morale with one. So here's a season two, which means all of our allies will be refreshed. Continuous weapon storage card limit gets a plus one. That's really nice, isn't it? Okay. And then let's see what we got here. We're going to play three cards. We could play this one here. Oh, she got saved. So she becomes an ally last time. And this one moves down. So we'll put that one over there. And I could put the, let's put this one here and that there. So, oh, dang, it doesn't really help out. So that'll be nice. Huh? Let's see if I want to put this one here. I think that's what I want to do because nothing else is going to help me. Okay. So I will blast this one. If the gate check succeeds, discard this. Got to get rid of it anyway. So it's four. That's two cards. So he can kill this one also. That's two cards we've beaten. These two are not going to be destroyed. So the power is three. Four, five, let's see here, I gotta roll the dice. Six, seven, eight, nine, so we're safe. We will rescue anybody that's there. Then we'll get rid of the weapon cards. Somebody would come down here, but there's nobody there. He will draw a zombie scenario card. And then we'll go to the next round. Uh, the skilled tactician can be used on all gates. Okay, tactician is not out. We will put three cards down. Oh, look who just came out, the tactician. So it says rearrange the cards on one gate at will. We will throw this one here. And we will put, I want to put the blue behind him. So I like that quite a bit. No, I think I have to put it there, so. So I forgot to get my storage cards for my weapons. We'll put those out. Okay, so this is what we have. This might be a little bit of a tough round for me. So I think I'm fine putting there. I want to save these for next round. Now I need to I need to blast this one. So let's go ahead and do this. I'll get rid of this. The two, I can only go back one. We'll get rid of this. Okay. Rearrange the cards in one gate at will. I'm fine with that. Uh, he will be saved. These guys will come down. There's nobody in the front. Well, I guess I should do that. One, two, three. I'm going to beat it with just this. So we'll get rid of these cards. Everybody will scoot down. I got to draw two new weapon cards. I draw one of these. All allies are exhausted. That's a rough one. So those guys are exhausted now. And we'll put out three new cards. So we'll put one here, one here, and we'll blast that one there. Oof. Okay, so I'm gonna place this guy here. I'm gonna place this guy here. And see, I could put three. I can just blast both of those. So let's do that. So the yellow can only go back one, so we'll kill this one. The three can kill this. Because there's two cards, I can do a range of two, which will also kill this one. This guy will stay here and attack. Uh, two, three, four. Uh, okay. 
So I just have to roll one, which is fine. Uh, add these two together, nine, I'm fine. Skip the rescue step. Oh, so I'm not gonna get the power back up, am I? Okay, and then we'll go to clean up. These will be taken out. That's all of the weapons. So we will shuffle these up and we'll grab three more. Okay, these guys will move down. We'll draw one of these. No allies can be, oh, let's see what we're at right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, so that's the game. We were able to win without much problems whatsoever. So that's a little bit of how you play Zombie Crisis.